is John Ling. I'm a drummer and music producer from the Washington, D.C. area. Um, if I had to pick one record, it would be uh, Photos Para, uh, what is it? Photos Para a Capo Lo LP by Bernier and Cartier. And um, it's a Brazilian duo, guitar duo. I believe one of them is the cousin or the nephew of the famous Brazilian guitarist Luis Bonfa. Um, and I choose that record by uh, because I was a, I had a friend from Holland visiting me in Washington D.C. She wanted to go out dancing, so I took her to this uh, place where my friend DJ Underdog was spinning, and he spins a lot of world music. And we got there, and he played a particular record that I wasn't very familiar with, but it was a Brazilian record. I got the name of the record, went home and researched it, but I couldn't find that record. And I accidentally stumbled upon Bernier and Cartier. And I heard a couple of tracks off of this blog website. And it, it was something that was, for me, it was very surreal because it just wasn't Brazilian music. It was just very, very well orchestrated, very, um, very well arranged, written, and performed very, very well. This record came out in 1976, so to me, it really sounded like it was ahead of its time. Uh, and as a drummer, you know, I mostly listen to uh, jazz records or hip hop records that are very drum heavy. Uh, not a lot of drumming in this one, uh, but I was very mesmerized by the arrangements and um, just the song selection in general. Yes, that that record definitely had a huge influence on my work um, because I found the record about four years ago and my love for Brazilian music just increased uh, a lot. So much that I started playing in a Brazilian group. Um, at that time I felt like I was underachieving because I, I didn't know exactly how to get into it, where to start, uh, or even learn how to play Brazilian percussion music because it's so complex and so difficult. But I love the music, so I was learning a lot from this uh, wonderful Brazilian singer in the DC area named Cisa Paz. So we played for about a year, and I just got back on the trip uh, to Brazil about a month ago. We visited Salvador of Bahia, and um, that increased my love for Brazilian music even more. But when you go and you ask people there about Brady and Karchi, the first thing they'll say is they can't find their records. They're very, very, very rare. They only had two records, one in 74, which was a self-titled album, and then the one in 76, and that was it. I do believe they're still alive. I think they're living somewhere down in Brazil somewhere. Um, I'm not exactly sure what they're up to lately, I'd like to find out. But every time I play the record for people, they, they, they get the same feeling for me. Um, so much that I think I'm probably going to base my next record uh, around a lot of what their music does. Um, I haven't done a drum LP yet. I've been doing a lot of beat albums and you know, sort of playing the producer role and letting singers and artists come in and rap and sing over my beat. So uh, I think this drum album is definitely going to be really inspired. Some of the projects that I'm working on right now, I'm actually uh, working on a project with my current manager and we are doing something with uh, the label I Love Ugly out of New Zealand. Um, actually, this watch is from I Love Ugly. Uh, so I'm sending them some music to sort of help with their, their promotion uh, and stuff uh, and hopefully develop you know, a working relationship with them. So that's the first project that I'm working on currently right now. Uh, the second one is my LP. Uh, my drumming LP where I'll feature a lot of my uh, drumming skills and I kind of wanted to steer away from um, the regular just play drums over music type of thing and I'm definitely going to showcase my drumming skills but I want to showcase my, my writing skills, my arranging skills as well 
Um, probably going to seek the help of some very well-known uh, artists like Odyssey and Black Milk and Allison Carney and uh, some other artists in, around the North American uh, country. Hopefully some right here in Paris. Uh, I you know, befriended a couple of people last night at Downtown Cafe, so hopefully that'll spark a, a working relationship as well. Uh, and then, of course, uh, we're doing a record uh, with Good Company. Good Company is the band that backs up Odyssey. And uh, I think after this North American tour, in a month, we're just going to take a break and we're going to record a record, which is pretty much long overdue. We've been touring for about three or four years now. So it's about time that we put something out for people to start knowing who we are. Uh, Paris is one of my favorite cities to visit. Uh, first time I visited Paris was 2007, and I came with a jazz group. Uh, I direct a community uh, group of young high school kids who want to learn about jazz, and every year we take a, a trip to a foreign city and we just tour and perform. Paris was the first stop. I've always wanted to come to Paris. And I fell in love with it ever since I, you know, stepped foot uh, out of Charles de Gaulle Airport. Uh, the culture is just very welcoming. Uh, the people are wonderful. The food is magnificent. Um, the, the love of hip hop here is uh, just very wide. We're running to people who like some of the mainstream stuff, but we really love some of the more underground um, artists that who may not be very well known in the United States are very well known here, and um, they're a little bit more respected here. And I think that's probably what draws me here all the time. This is my sixth or seventh time since then, and. Um, so, there's a lot to love. The, the history here as well. Uh, visiting Notre Dame, uh, to the Louvre, uh, Eiffel Tower, of course. Uh, and just checking out all of the history. Uh, you know, the city's just so rich in history. Just knowing the stories of World War II and uh, you know, kind of equating it to uh, American history and just seeing how things came up at the same time is kind of fascinating to me anyway. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a gorgeous day today. Uh, we'll probably go sightseeing tomorrow, um, even though we've visited almost everything. Um, you know, we always like to go back to band. We, we, don't, we don't usually go out to clubs or anything like that. We like to go sightseeing. Um, just walking around and really taking in the sight. So Paris is definitely in my top five favorite cities that I've ever been to. Wap, 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 wap.